Hello, I am Nate Kunzer, Product Specialist from Hydolf North America, and today I'm going to show you how to calibrate your peristaltic pump. Before calibrating your peristaltic pump, you want to do two things. The first is to make sure your peristaltic pump and your peristaltic pump head are synced. In order to do that, you can follow our video on syncing your peristaltic pump head to your peristaltic pump. The second will be to make sure that the tube size is set with your peristaltic pump. To do that, you can hit select once to go down to tube mm, where you'll see a tube size there. In our case, it is 6.3 millimeters, so we have that set. If the tube sizing is set incorrectly, you may notice some variance in the dosing of your volumes. Once those two conditions have been met, we can calibrate properly. There are two ways to calibrate, either by the flow rate or by volume. Volume is generally easier. To do that, we'll hit select twice to go down to volume milliliter. And you're gonna to wanna to set it to a volume that your measuring device can hold. In my case, I've got a 200 milliliter beaker. So I'm gonna go with about 150 milliliters of fluid. Once we have that set, we can start that volume dose. We're gonna let this process go to completion. And as you can see, we're a bit above 150, pretty close to the 175 mark. As we saw, since that volume was not 150, we're gonna to wanna to calibrate it so that it can dose more accurately. We'll push the calibrate button where we'll see the screen blinking. And we will raise that volume to what we observed, which was about 170. Once you have set the observed volume, you're gonna hold the calibrate button for three seconds, and that calibrates it. Basically resets the sensors to know that that was not 150, it was a bit more, and gets it to be more accurate. I recommend doing this process two or three times just to ensure that you are as precise as possible. That was calibrating the peristaltic pump. Again, I am Nate Kunzer, product specialist from Hydolf North America. Thank you again for watching.